let's now compare the capabilities between SOLIDWORKS PDM Standard and PDM Professional. As I mentioned in the previous lecture, PDM Standard and PDM Professional share the same underlying product architecture, with PDM Standard having a restricted set of capabilities while providing a straightforward upgrade path for those customers who start out on PDM Standard and later need to take advantage of PDM Professional functions. Both systems share the same user interface, both in Windows Explorer and inside of SOLIDWORKS, so the user experience is completely consistent between the two platforms. Licensing for PDM Professional is not tied in any way to your SOLIDWORKS licensing. PDM Professional is a separately purchased product, not included with any version of SOLIDWORKS. Starting with user logins, PDM Professional can tie in to an Active Directory or LDAP server, enabling users to log in with their normal Windows credentials and not having to maintain a separate username and password for PDM. PDM Standard, on the other hand, the only option is for administrators to maintain the system credentials for the users. While you can check in or check out any file type in either system, PDM Standard only supports built-in preview of SOLIDWORKS files through eDrawings. PDM Professional supports the preview of Office files, PDFs, images, 2D AutoCAD, and many more common file types. We start to see more considerable differentiation in capability as we get into the workflows. In PDM Standard, only one workflow is permitted, and it is limited to a maximum of 10 states, meaning all documents stored in the vault must follow the same process. Additionally, there is no means for supporting a parallel review or approval process in PDM Standard. In PDM Professional, however, you are not restricted on the number of workflows or workflow states. That means that files can follow different processes based on naming convention, folder path, data card variable, or any number of factors. We can introduce logic into the workflow to enable parallel approval paths or even transition files between workflows. If we stay on the topic of workflow capabilities, it is very common for people to have PDM Professional automatically create PDFs or other neutral file types as a task triggered by the workflow. These tasks, as well as email notifications, are only available in PDM Professional. PDM Professional also provides a capability to create files and folder structures from PDM templates. These templates can also optionally use serial numbers to name the files and or folders, another capability only available in Professional. If you have distributed design teams, PDM Professional has a means of setting up additional replicated archive servers to sync data between multiple locations automatically, as well as the ability to host access via a web portal. Finally, if connectivity to other systems is important to you, PDM Professional has tools that make it relatively easy to export data out of the system, whether that be PDF or other neutral CAD files, like previously mentioned, or metadata in an XML or CSV format. There's also the PDM Professional API, which is included and well documented for building other integrations or expanding the out-of-the-box capabilities of the tool. Again, look at the file section of this lesson for my matrix of key differentiators between PDM Standard and PDM Professional.